I see you in the viewer. All right. All right. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming to honor Robert Julius Bob Baker and William Neal, two War of 1812 veterans that certainly deserve the honor. Um, I'm Sherry Frazier, and I am the past founder of the Alza County Historical Society and the new president of the Alza County History and Genealogy Society. And thanks to Harley Bowling and Conley Baker uh, and the persistence of Conley to secure these two monuments, we ordered these and got these from the Veterans Administration in Washington, D.C. And uh, Hazel and Charles Moyers and Conley and Inga and Jerry Grimes came up yesterday and set the stones and they look absolutely marvelous. You know, it is so important for us to honor our veterans, especially these old veterans that do not have military markers signifying the sacrifice that they made for our great country. Um, it is the historic, the Alza County History and Genealogy Society's main priority to continue with our veteran monument placement program. Uh, and if any of you out there know of any old veterans, if you have any ancestors that do not have markers, you see Harley or myself or any of the rest of our members, and we will be happy to secure those for you um, <coughs> and have a presentation such like this to honor them because they certainly deserve it. Um, for those of you, uh, most all of you know my Uncle Hubert here. Uncle Hubert was a chaplain at the Veterans Administration. He's a World War II veteran and was a chaplain at the VA in Lexington for 30 years. And uh, he's going to give the invocation. My Heavenly Master, we are met here upon this hilltop in the cemetery, Lord, of a long history. Many of those that are buried here, our Father, have been engaged in the battles of war for the protection of our country. Some of them, our Father, have been sadly forgotten. And some of them, but Lord, have not had the, the markers for their graves. But we're thankful, Lord, that there are those who are concerned about this matter, and they have acquired this matter, this marker, or this one, our Father, that has died and had a history of being in the United States Army in the war 18 and 12. We pray, our Father, for those that have come to honor this event, our Master of God. We thank you for each one of them that has come. Thank you that you've granted to them travel mercy here, our Father, and that you'll give them safe travel home. Lord, there are so many that have gone to their grave. Uh, some of them, our Father God, have given their lives in the field of battle. Some of them who have come out of that field of battle still living and yet they have passed away. And Lord, it looks as if our nation has forgotten them. Even those, our Father, in Washington that are in power of authority, they, our Father, have forgotten those of us that still live that are disabled American veterans. And Heavenly Lord, if it can be a divine pleasure, place it upon the hearts of those that are, not only on those that have died, our Father, and gone on to, uh, to meet their reward, but those of us that are still alive. We pray for the blessings of life to be upon each one that has come this way. We pray, our Father, that they still honor, they shall still honor those that have parted this life and gone on before. And those of us, our Lord, that have come to the age which is not far from the end of the journey. We pray that you'll bless and take care of all those that are here that are veterans, disabled or otherwise. And we'll give you all the honor and all the praise. For we humbly beseech you in the only name we know to pray, and that of Christ Jesus, our Lord, your Son and our precious Savior. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. This song is entitled In Remembrance. I think I wrote it a couple years ago with Lisa McIntosh Roberts. It's about freedom and that never goes out of style. I brought my band. <laughs> Worship, freedom to pray. 
to see what's on this tape. Thank you, Sharon. That was wonderful. Well, I, I'll introduce Jess Wilson. He needs no introduction. Jess has been writing about the history of Owsley Clay and surrounding counties for a long time, and there's no one who has written more about Robert Julius Bob Baker and William Neal than Jess Wilson. And when I asked him to come and do this, he said, but I'm not a baker, a descendant of Robert, of, of Robert Julius Bob Baker. I said, no, you're not, Jess. I said, but we can't think of anybody better or who's written more about Robert Baker than you. <laughs> I'm the sort of fellow that uh, might start out by saying the reason you're a, a visitor to Possum Trot is that my grandfather had hemorrhoids. And you can tie it all together. This man here is probably here because uh, there's a fellow named Francis Clark who settled in what's now Boyle County. And when he died, he left. He, <coughs> he got a, a uh, grant for 10,000 acres around Oneida, Kentucky. And uh, in 1817 and 99, when he died, Francis II got title to that land. And I think he induced this man to come to the mouth of, of uh, Bullskin in Clay County in 18 I think it was 18 and 2, and uh, then in 18 and sometime between 18 and 22 and 1825, they moved down the river and came to this place here. Now, I think one reason they might have come was that there was a Robert Baker was a part owner of about 18,000 acres somewhere located around here. Now, I never did track this all down to tie it together, but I've often wondered if maybe the reason he moved to this particular part of the country and, and the reason he'd be buried right here is the fact that it's that large piece of land. Now, how, how much of it he actually operated, I don't know. But, uh, I don't even know that uh, that there's any connection, but there there is a 
a record of about eight, I think it is 18,000 acres, and Robert Baker was one of the owners. Now, whether it was at this Robert Baker or not, I don't know, but it's one of the things that we might be able to uh, tie together. Now, according to uh, Fred Gabbard, when this man came back from the War of 1812, he'd always been here. To, he brought with him two British soldiers, William Neal and uh, Patrick Riley. And then Fred says that can happen because they, he was listed in the 1810 census. Well, what Fred didn't know was that the uh, Judas Bob, as a younger man in, eight, in eight, 1793, St. Clair's defeat, in which uh, the old footy duddy Sinclair, who had been a, uh, a general in uh, Washington's army, got a whole lot of men killed. And a few of the people that escaped, I think, was Julius Bob Baker and William Neal and Patrick Riley. Those Riley's uh, on some of these tombstones here. Now, the only other thing I know about William Neal is that uh, he never did marry, and according to what I've been told, that when he died, his friends carried him 12 miles or 20 miles in, on mud roads to be buried. Yeah, this is this is William Lincoln. Yeah, that's Very. Baker. Right. And Robert Baker. Uh, yeah, Robert Baker's buried there. And uh, and uh, Neil is buried right here. And that's that about what I know about these two men. And that Patrick Riley had a lot of kids and a lot of them. And some of them were buried over here. Excuse me, Mr. Wilson, how far did you say they carried him back here? Well, I've heard the different stories. Some say 10 miles. Some, uh, they carried him because the roads were too muddy for the, even for wagons. So they carried him so that he could be buried at the foot of because this is a man who brought him to this part of the country. And, uh, that's what they must have thought of that smart of him. Huh? They must have thought of yeah. that's a lot of him. Uh, I've yeah. tried to do a little <laughs> research on, on uh, McNeil, but I seem to run into two or three different Robert McNeil, so maybe they were the same man, I don't know. Maybe I didn't pursue it far enough. But uh, that's about the extent of what I know about him. <laughs> and uh, I do know that I'm pretty sure that the, that the reason he gave into this part of the country was on account of Francis Clark. Now, Francis Clark Jr. also had a salt works at Oneida. And he bought the 40,000 acre Ballard Smith track, which includes about 20,000 acres in Jackson County and 20,000 in Clay County, and had it sectionized, and, and I live on section 15, and I was born on section 16, and uh, I got laughed at in history <coughs> class on account of that. I got it. to get first just a little bit. I got even with the old professor for that. It was an afternoon, and on a Sunday, uh, the class was at 1 o'clock on the sunny side of the house. And after lunch, I had a tendency to go to sleep. And he had a tendency to work go all the way up from, he get off of American history onto French history here something else, and uh, I'd go to sleep, 
and he would ask a very complicated question and call on me to answer. I would shake my head, look at the wilder, then give him a perfectly good answer. The classroom would roar uh, because I came up with that. <laughs> what he didn't know was that when he saw me sleep, the tone of his voice would change enough to make me that I would wake up. He'll pretend to be asleep, and I was very careful to the question. Open my eyes, shake my head a little bit, and then give him a good answer. So I, I would, I would get a roaring ovation when I did, <laughs> when I did. that. Made him much more angry. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, we are. You're all invited to Awesome Trot if you ever get around the park part of Champion. I'll be there. Does uh anyone else does anyone have anything they'd like to say about Robert Baker? Yeah. I wouldn't put a pass to somebody. They 
Thank God they don't have Harley. That's the most hey, important thing. Hey, I'm time. telling you. Yeah. <laughs> material, <laughs> material things in life don't well, last, Sherry. That's right. You're amen to that. They okay. Hey, okay. how about we get everybody standing over here by, behind the wreath? Can we do that? And I'll get a group picture. Get who? Get a picture. You're <laughs> Come on. <laughs> How much that thing weighs? Just awkward to move. What's good meeting y'all? It's all men in the back. Hey, you want to sit right here? Harley and Bob, you can talk after this is over now. Come on. Come here.